All right, got a Honda Odyssey. It's got a really bad oil leak. See down the subframe here, there's oil down there. And uh, they killed those bushings, look at that. Let me show you. Oil will kill rubber. So I'm pretty sure they probably experience clunking when they're going over speed bumps. But that oil has traveled on the control arm, uh, subframe, CV axle, engine block. And lightly it's coming from this adapter housing gasket here. You probably can't see it because it looks like it's blended in well because of all the oil and uh, dirt that accumulated. <laughs> so I'm thinking uh, logically it's going to wind up being the oil adapter housing. Uh, that's what we got parts for. But, uh, it, you know, it's no telling that the CV, I said CV axle, the solenoid and the oil pressure switch is probably uh, leaking also. But that gasket kit that we got contains everything needed to do the job. So I'm going to start up. going to take a good visual look and see it leaking out. And then we'll go from there. Pouring out real bad. That's obviously the source of our problem. Wanna only thing left to do is to start pulling stuff off. Now I've done several of these in the past. Uh, just uh two what was it two? You just got these connectors. And uh I wanna say they're 12 or 14 millimeter bolts, three of those I gotta pull off and then just separate the housing. I'm gonna try to clean what I can up here while I'm while it's adapted and um, then I'll pull it off and clean it again get what I can so it'll be a lot easier because I mean I want to pull it off and then clean it even though I'm gonna have to I think it'll make my job a little bit easier cleaning it like it is Right, after about five cans of brake cleaner, I finally got it cleaned up pretty well. I, I did do some of the areas that I'm not going to be working in, such as the lower control arm, um, that exhaust. I'm just going to have to let that burn off. But, I mean, it, it does look a lot better than what it did before. And uh, I got some off the uh, sway bar. But I actually found the bolt that was sitting back here. It was so dirty. Couldn't even see that unless. Oh, well, that's gone. Fell in the oil. But yeah, so clean up stuff, fine stuff. All right, let's go ahead and start pulling this off. I got like this light here to think it's a little better. Some 12 millimeter. We'll pull this oil uh, switch off. Uh. Let's pull off the solenoid. I should be able to pull that off from up here. The solenoid off. From there, I'll just pull off those three bolts. One, two, and three at the bottom. Pull it off and pull off this oil filter. These are O'Reilly's new high end oil filters. I'm gonna be honest, I can't tell the difference. The high mileage. I've been using the micro guard for years and never had any problems. Most people kept their oil changes regularly. 
We got 12 millimeter. Pull this one off. Pull that. This one. And this last one at the bottom. So these bolts aren't all the same size. Really can't screw this up, but you can. I'm not gonna, I wouldn't be surprised. This longer one went at the top. There's a short one that went at the bottom. We got this last one. Should be stuck to the housing. This should be a short one, yeah. So two bolts are the same size. The short ones go here and here, and the long one go right in the side. Should just pop this off now. And we should see a slit in the middle, or like where it was leaking from. That's what normally happens. They'll break while well, it's stuck to the housing, which is fine. This is the back of it. We're going to get a better look at it when we redo everything. There should be a slit in the gasket or break somewhere the one that we have don't have the filter but it should be fine it's not going to harm anything normally they no i guess not it's just the it's just flat normally it has a there we go it's at the bottom there we go you see it there's the break right there that didn't happen for me pulling it off that's normally what happens it would have surprised me if it wasn't the case i'm gonna let this drain out clean everything when i put it back and um we'll work on getting everything installed in reverse order disassemble this because we got new gaskets that go to the uh, pressure switch and then the vtex solenoid and, uh, i just want to show you that strainer again this Ten millimeter. That's a figure eight gasket. It is smashed. Pull this out. This, this valve should be a little spring down in there too. Goes in there, and I'm gonna pull this pressure switch off because it has an O-ring we have to replace. I gotta. 7 eighths, 21 millimeter. We got that off. There's our old ring we're going to replace. And right now, it's bare minimum. I'm just going to clean everything off and then we'll reassemble it in reverse order. And here we go. gasket ain't gonna work all right so i got the right part now i told my man there to get this one and it's actually this one so this is the appropriate one it has the filter in there i know i said it can work without it but it can't so here's the appropriate one i'm going to get this back installed and put back together and then we can assess that leak again all right so here's the appropriate gasket here's our strainer and uh, wait just the gosh darn minute. Okay, here we go. Let's go in there like so. Should lock itself into place. So technically I should just put this on last, but it should hold itself in place. If not, then I mean I'll just put it on there and stamp it. 
how it protrudes. We got about a millimeter of protrusion. And then we have the VTEC solenoid and the switch o rings. Fits in there like so. Now, if your pressure switch is leaking, then you will want to replace it. There shouldn't be any oil in there. Make sure that sits flush. I know this is not a good idea, but tap. That's it. It's one, one ugga dugga. This you have to be very careful with when you're installing these because you can damage the ear if it's not sitting flush. We got our valve here free of dirt and oil now you can lube this up if you want but I'm not I mean it's not going to harm anything I mean it's not like it reciprocates up and down uh, frequently to where it's going to require oil and that's the only reason why I'm not going to worry about it Careful, make sure the gasket's in there. There, there. I'll take a quarter inch. That was the plan of taking a quarter inch and snugging it down. Can't get my hands on it. Let's install everything in reverse order, put out a new oil filter wrong, and check it for oil leaks.
is going to hurt a lot of people. This is a dry oil filter, part number 57356 from O'Reilly's. These either these are in, interchangeable. Sometimes if I don't have the 57356s, I'll put the 51334s on there. They're bigger. So, and it works fine. They got the same threads, same O-ring. It's just the wider filter. This is going to be a dry start. I know it's going to piss a lot of people off, but I can promise you nothing's going to happen. All right, let's see if we still got our oil leak before it was coming down that corner. Let's see if it's still there. did have to shut it down and uh, top the oil off so I'm gonna let it run for about five minutes and we'll come back it's been five minutes this is everything still clean no oil leaks I'm pretty sure the valve covers are probably leaking too but I have to take a look at that the CV axle uh, is leaking so all that grease that I cleaned up is likely going to return back Let me give you a view of the connector. So they were good, man. I don't. I'm not gonna break my neck over. I'm just gonna let it run, clean up everything. Let me shut it down. I'm just gonna let it run uh, and burn all that oil off because uh, all that oil that was caked up on the exhaust system it was pretty bad and all that's gonna have to burn off it really needs to go get pressure washed uh, in the future but the CV axle is definitely gonna have to be replaced before all that happens because it's gonna it's just gonna make another mess and brake cleaner costs a lot more than that water and soap do so before if what it is what it looked like before for now I mean it's a lot better that oil leak is a lot better i mean it's not leaking at all so that's 100 percent fixed so if anything happened i'll definitely update but hit that link subscribe to the channel stay informed had a rich on some of my work see you on next one